Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have here a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I've got my base coat down of the Amsterdam grayish blue and I'm going to be doing a big swipe today with the cell activator and here I'm laying down my first color which is the Amsterdam greenish blue. My second color is a combination of Liquitex Basic Silver and Pebio Iridescent Blue. My third color there is Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. And my last color there is Porage Posse Snow White Iridescent Pearl. All my paints today were mixed two parts American Floetrol to one part paint and I did thin down quite a bit with water. There you can see I did do a quick torch to uh, get rid of the air bubbles. Just doing my tilting now. Working on the composition and pulling those different paint colors paint colors out a little bit there just to cover some of the canvas. I do want to leave negative space today. I think that Amsterdam grayish blue is a really pretty color and I have used it in the past as my base coat. Here I'm just taking my hand and cleaning the bottom off a little bit. And today I'm going to be using some moistened uh, paper towels to do my swipe. And my swipe color today is, um, it's four parts of the Australian Floetrol with one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I think next time I mix this combination, I will mix it three to one and not four to one. I feel like it was a little bit too thin here and it did it really didn't leave enough of the black on the canvas i would have been happier if it would have left a little bit more black there but as you can see i'm just running those paper towels through the paint see if i can get some cell action to come up here this type of painting is a lot of fun you can just really use your imagination and um really no uh, set boundaries at all just go with what you feel looks good i did have different widths of my um, paper towels that i used i had cut them up and then i just uh, sprayed the ends of them to get them a little bit damp You can see where I twist those paper towels a little bit or double them up. Here, just giving it another quick torch to see what I can bring up. You can see I went with the blues today. And here I decided I needed another accent color. And I did have mixed up prior to this another four to one um, Amsterdam Floetrol to, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry. This is Carmine, Amsterdam Carmine, and it's mixed one part of the Amsterdam Carmine to four parts of the Australian Floetrol. I just thought it needed a little bit of accent there. Just a little something more for the eye to look at to break up all that blue. And here I think I am just, oh, I did use a, another color. It was the um, Amsterdam Bright Blue. And I ran it through. And here I'm using my palette knife with that Oxide Black. Cell Activator.
and I try and run my um, palette knife there the lines I make are already going along with the lines that that naturally were there when I did my tipping again using the carmine And here I'm just using a popsicle stick and I'm just running that dark blue color through my paints. Again, just a little something extra for the eye to see, just to give it a little accent there. And that was the Amsterdam greenish blue. I really like that color too. And the majority of my paints are Amsterdam. I have been trying out some Pebeo paints lately and I'm pretty happy with the quality of those also. And I'm just adding some extra of my base coat here because I'm going to try and, and um, tip a little bit just to incorporate some of those lines that I've done there. But as you can see, the paint doesn't move a whole lot here. I did not have my paint very thick on the canvas. But that's fine because I'm pretty happy with what I have going on here. Cleaning off the bottom again. And I do think that this is this painting is really shaping up well here. Here I'm just using a skewer, add a few little lines here and there, just little accent lines. Here I'm scraping off a part of it that I, I wasn't really happy with and just adding some of that base coat back on. I guess you could say that I'm erasing my mistake there. Just trying to let a little bit of that run off. Again, just using this skewer, adding little lines here and there. And when I bring you down for a close up, you'll be able to see that more. Here I'm using my straw just to draw some out some lines out a little bit and give them a little bit more contour. And here we are for our close up. And this is the upper left hand corner. You can see some of these nice cells that I did get with my cell activator. I really like those there the black and the white, actually the pearl. I'm just showing you some more of the cells there. And that's the lower left-hand corner. And you can see that that pearl, it almost looks like it's, um, it's what's called uh, flocculation, I think it's called where it almost looks like it's split, but I really do like that effect. And I, I'm not sure how I got it, but it really did add to the painting. And you'll see more of it as we go along. There's some of that carmine up there. I think just that little bit that I added um, was a, a good addition to this painting. And there's some more of that pearl color with that almost flocculation look. Here's some more really nice cells. Pretty area in here. You can really see that now, that effect with that pearl.
paint. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. You can see a lot of that effect with that pearl paint in there. And again, some more of that carmine. This is the upper right-hand corner. Just going down the right-hand side. Really happy with the cells. And that's the lower left right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.